Okay, now we can read the information from the remote server and display the contacts on a recycler view. So first we have to create an adapter for the recycler view. So here I am going to create a new class. Specify class name. Here I specify the class name as a recycler adapter. And this class extends recycler adapter. Here you need to implement some factory methods. First here I am going to create the view holder class. Here I name the class as my view holder and thus that class extends view holder. Uh, for this class there is a constructor with the super keyword is needed. So add a constructor matching super. Now specify the generic type of the class. For the onCreate view holder method, the return type is an object of the view holder class. And for the onBind view holder method, the first parameter is an object of view holder class. Now here we have to create some variables. Uh, first we need some list that contains some object of contact class I name it as contacts and it is an array list now we need some variables for context I name it as context now we need some string variable that represents the image path on the server image path specify the image path here so here I specify the IP into 10.0.2.2 this is because we are going to test our application on an Android virtual device so this is the IP used by every Android virtual device to access localhost so in localhost we have a folder called contact app in that folder uh, we have another folder called upload so this is the image path on the server now go to the view holder class here we have to create some variables here i create some text view variable name and email now we need some image view variable here I name it as profile pic now we need to initialize these variables from the constructor first one is name that is a text view by using that parameter item view we can initialize it using this method find the view by id method so r dot id dot id is card name now initialize the second variable email and here it is card email now initialize the image view file pick it is an image view now find it id is card amg now go to the on create view holder method here create some variables for view layout inflator from 
context dot sorry parent dot get to context inflate specify the layout layout resource here it is item view second parameter is parent and there is another parameter is a boolean I pass false for it now from this method we need to return an object of the view holder class so here return an object of view holder and pass the view to the constructor of that class now go to the on bind view holder now we can bind the value to the view items from this method so first one is name so holder dot name and set the text for it I get the object from the array list so before going to do that here we need a constructor for this class so specify a constructor for this class recycler adapter and for this constructor we need two parameter first one is a list that contains some contact object I name it as contacts second one is a context object now initialize the list and context variable from this constructor now initialize the context now go to the on bind view holder method so first we can set the name on the text view so holder dot name set the text uh, first get the object from the list so here the list is contacts and pass the position and call the getter method here it is get a name now specify email get the object from the contacts list and call the getter method here it is get email and now we can set the image on the image view so here we are going to load the image from server using glide so first create some variables for path image path so here we already save the image path on this variable called image path so we can use that variable image path now specify the image name so in our application the image name is same as the person name so we can get the person name from the model class so contacts dot get position and call the getter method get name now specify the file extension here the file is a jpg format so specify the file extension so this is the actual image path on the server now we can load the image from this url so here we are going to use glide image loading library to show image on the image view so glide specify context uh, load the image from the string value path now into the image view so holder load here it is profile pic and from the get item count method we need to return the size of the list so here it is context dot size so now our ad adapter is ready this is the adapter for the recycler view now go to the view context method sorry class here you have it to create some variables first create a variable for recycler view I name it as recycler view now specify a variable for the layout manager for the recycler view I name it as layout manager now specify the adapter for the recycler view 
Function is recycler adapter. Now specify some variables for JSON. I name it as JSON. Now we need some list. Now this list contains some object of contact class. I name it as contacts. It is an array list. Uh, now specify the server URL. I name it as read URL. Uh, it is a string value. Now specify the server URL. Specify the IP. Uh, there is a folder called the contact app. In that folder, our PHP file name is readcontacts.php. And now we can initialize these variables. First, initialize the recycler view. First, type cast that one into recycler view. Now, find it. Now, initialize the layout manager of recycler view. Here, we need a linear layout manager and pass context. Now specify the layout manager on the recycler view. So we can call the method set the layout manager. And here it is layout manager. And now we can initialize the list. No need to initialize list. And now specify one more parameter for the recycler view. Setting as fixer size in the two. Now here I'm going to create another method for a read information from the remote server. I name it as read contacts. And here the return type is void. So here I'm going to create a volley string request. First to specify the request method. Here the request method is post. Now specify the URL. Here it is available on this variable read URL. Now specify the listeners. Now specify the error listener. Now add this string request to the request queue, volley request queue. So here it is my singleton. Get instance. and add it to request queue here it is string request now we can handle the response so here the response is a json data so here we are going to convert json data into java objects that means we are going to perform data deserialization using json so for that first we can initialize the json object And now we can convert the JSON response from server to JSON, sorry, Java objects. So here we are going to save it into this arrays, into this list contacts. So arrays dot as list. So JSON dot from JSON. Specify the JSON input. Here it is a response. Now specify the response type, the target type. Here it is a list. So contact. It is a list. It is an array. And specify the type. This class. 
So now here uh, in this statement, we convert the JSON response from server into Java objects and save that objects into this list called contacts. Now we can initialize the adapter. So adapter equal to new recycler adapter. First parameter is the list, it is contacts. Uh, second parameter is the context. So here the context context is view context dot this. And finally, we can specify the adapter for the recycler view. So recycler view dot set adapter and pass the adapter. And from the onCreate method, we need to call this method read contacts. So here I call that method. Now we can test our application. Okay, now run the application. Select a virtual device. Now the application available on our virtual device. Now we can test our database. Go to PHP my admin. Uh, here is our database. Now there is only one contact available on the table. Uh, we can check the image upload folder. Uh, here is our project folder. Here is our upload folder. Now there is only one contact available on the server. So first here I am going to add one more contact. Specify email address. Now select a profile picture and upload that contact. So that image is now successfully uploaded to the folder. Now we can view the contacts. So here is the recycler view with a card view that contain an image view two text reviews so this is how we perform data deserialization of json using json i hope you understand all these concepts for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode